No way, dude. I didn't know you were already here. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting you till later. Well, thanks for coming. Uh, you know, here we are back at it again with Brandino. Capturing Brandino. I already forgot it, bro. It's only the second video. Oh, today, today we're shooting a very cool human being. His name is Jay Scribe. He makes some tunes, makes some music. We better do some photos for that man today. Uh, should be a should be a good time. Little background on Jay Scribe. Uh, he's local. He's a local artist here. He makes. He's a rapper. He makes music. Uh, he owns a store in Conwood Mall called Ten Sixteen. Uh, in that store, they have a bunch of local uh, clothing brands, stuff like that. He has a studio in the back, so if you want to get like studio time or something, you could be like, "Hey, yo, Jay, let me use that studio." He'll be like, oh, "I bet." So he does that. Uh, he's a really cool guy. But we're gonna go shoot with him today. Get some banger photos, uh, and then yeah, ready for this. That was a crazy jump. Ooh. Came from all the way up there. Oh wait, we gotta... Look at this guy, dude. Where'd he go? Oh, look at him. Hold up, can you see him? Can you see him? We are about to head out right now. Got the hoodie. Woo, let's go. Yeah, get that girl in there right there. Let's go. Oh shit, the door. Let's go. By a turn around again. Oh my goodness. Ready? I'll give you guys a nice one right there. Ready? A nice one right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just got to the spot right now. It's just at a park, um, but it's next to like a neighborhood, and I had this cool idea where it's like, okay, you're wearing nice clothes, like looking fancy, but you're in a neighborhood like that's not so nice. I don't know. Nice contrast. I think it'll be cool. So we're gonna try that out. Do some shots at the park. There's a skate park I want to try some shots at. He has a few outfits, so we're going to do some things. Uh, and yeah, just have a good time, so yeah. All right, so we made it. We're with the man himself, Jay Scribe. Uh, we're about to get these photos. So just like last video, we're just going to throw the camera down, do a little time lapse. And then from there, you're going to see the bangers. So next spot, we're moving, coming by this fence kind of, right here. We have the sun coming through. I actually think it's gonna look pretty sick. So we're gonna have him stand over here and then get some more photos. As you guys can tell, I can move, I move people around all the time. Gotta make sure we switch up the, the photos, make sure everything looks nice and get a nice variety. Uh, yeah, how you feeling right now? First photo shoot of the year. So. First photo shoot of the year. You already know. Next spot, right in someone's front yard. I swear the best, the best photos come from like random stuff. Like we're literally just going to people's front yards and taking photos and then you guys are gonna see them. They're gonna be bangers, I promise. Every time. We just wrapped up the first part. He's about to change into his next outfit right now. Uh, those, actually, those pictures actually came out pretty dope. Uh, obviously, you guys will see him in a second. But we're gonna do some next ones at the skate park. I don't even know where it is, bro. I can't even see it. There it is, right over there. So we're gonna do the skate park. It's gonna be a crew neck. Uh, I think it's gonna be dope. It's like white but and colorful. So it should be cool. Um, do that over there. And then he's gonna change into a Auntie Slayer hoodie. And then we're gonna finish up after that. Got done shooting at the skate park. Um, the clouds are actually going crazy right now, bro. Look at look at this sunset right now. Come on now, dude. New Mexico go crazy. But we better do this last one with the hoodie. Then we're gonna wrap it up. Um, pretty successful so far. I already know I got some bangers in here, so we out here. All right, we just we just finished up the shoot. Uh, we out here. How, what was your experience? How was your experience today? It was late. It was late for sure. We okay. definitely got some bangers. Okay. We're gonna go crazy this year. Okay. And yeah, this is definitely not gonna be the last photo shoot. 
You heard it here. You heard it here, bro. When he's famous, bro, I'm gonna be around. Not playing. Uh, but yeah, we finished up. Um, it came out good. You guys will see him in a second. So later. So here we are back two days after the shoot. Um, photos are all done, all edited up. You guys better check them out. Um, yeah, let's let's go through it. So the first one we have right here um, is just the first spot when you sit on the rock. Um, you just had him like mess around with his watch, you know, his, his sleeve, look around a few different ways, and this is the shot we got. So it worked out pretty well. Colors look nice. Um, let's see, next one. This one's fire, bro. Like, I was like, damn, son. Like, I really took that. Um, yeah, so that's when he's just leaning against the against the fence it looks really natural he's just kind of sitting there he's got like his hand like kind of right here on his on his uh on his coat um it just looks really natural he's just chilling like it, there's no i don't know it doesn't look bad at all next one same thing as well uh he's just boom like hand on the sleeve uh, that one works every time for guys i swear bro like if you're just sitting there and you just like do that sleeve thing it works it works every time so then the next spot we had same thing with the coat uh, just kind of chilling i really like the tones in this one too really earthy tones um got the browns the greens uh, and then his coat has like that like lighter shade and then especially on the highlights it looks white so it looks super solid next one same thing with the coat i guess i'd had a lot of these coat poses they just look good i don't i don't know what to say they look natural uh but same same thing with the tones and everything like that and then moved again in front of someone's house well i mean i guess the last ones were in front of someone's house too but these are also in front of someone's house in their driveway um and so just hands in the pockets kind of looking down like he's walking um yeah tones once again look super good this one's fire too i like i like the tones it's really moody um, obviously I just I like the tones like 80 million times, but um, just the hand thing like this kind of doing this thing um, but Yeah, it's just it just looks super solid. I don't know Same thing with this one. He's walking away. You have the haze coming in from the Sun uh, And then I like that you can see a shadow. Um, that's something I really tried to capture and I was taking it uh, the fact that you can see him when he's walking and the next one I like this one a lot too. Same thing again with the hands um, that's the easiest thing for guys is just have them do it. It's like washing their hands if you're just doing this, but do it lower. You can't see me, but um, yeah, I just think it looks super good. And then I took this one landscape style because I thought it would be nice to see all of the, like the background, or not all of it, but obviously more of it. Um, and he's just like this, like chilling, like, yo, I'm a businessman. Like what's popping right now? Um, so it looks really nice. And then the nice headshot right here, um, the haze once again coming through, uh, tones look nice again. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. It's just a headshot. So then he switched outfits when we went down to the skate park. Uh, and he's obviously have more of a streetwear kind of vibe because the other one's more professional looking. And so this one's more streetwear. So for the poses for this one, we were trying to think of other things rather than just like the hands and stuff. Um, so we just started doing some things. And this one looks pretty sick. I like the way this one looks too. It's, it's really aggressive. Um, I don't know. It just looks... I think it fits the, the photo really well. I really like when the sun just hits from a certain side of the photo. I, I do that a lot. Um, and then I add a gradient brush or a gradient mask in the in Lightroom, is, and so to like kind of emphasize the fact that there's like light coming through this way. Um, but yeah, this one looks good. Once again, tones, everything, golden hour, going crazy. Um, same thing with this one. Um, and then I like that you can see the clouds. Like some of it's blown out, obviously, because it's like super super bright. But like on the top left, you can still see clouds. Um, so I think it's nice. Same thing with this one. It's less blown out because um, the sun had gone down a little bit further, but um, I don't know, you can see all the tones. He's a little dark uh, just because the shade and stuff and I had uh, exposed for the highlights, but it looks good. This one, we didn't record this one because um, I don't know why I didn't do this to be honest with you, but it was just past the skate park and there was like these cool stairs and stuff. And I was like, yo, go sit over there. And so we did that. And I like the colors a lot in this one because it's blue, white, have some black, got the orange. It just has that like nice, like vibrance, vibrancy, it looks good. So then for the last outfit, we have the tell your auntie I said hey hoodie, um, so he's just chilling. I was kind of running out of ideas for this. We had a skate park already, and then we already had the photos in the neighborhood, so I was trying to think of something else. So we kind of just went in the middle of the road, and I was trying to have the sunset in the background. Um, and so, yeah, once again, just poses, different things. For this one, he was, I just had, like, I was like, rock back and forth. Like, I know that sounds weird, but like, it looks clean, like it looks natural. It looks like he's just, you know, it looks natural, so it works out. And then this one, obviously the classic, like put your hand, put your foot on the wall, kind of relax. Um, and I mean, I think we got it really nice as well. And then again, foot on the wall, but I just kind of had him do like one of these. I'm just trying to, once again, trying to get that natural look and then we pulled it off, so success. And then again, same thing. Um, yeah, I mean, there's three different poses in the same exact spot. Um, it's really not that hard to get the posing down if you just kind of, kind of think, just have them do what like feels natural to them, you know? So that's that works out for this. So if you guys like this one too, I know it wasn't a car, it was a portrait shoot, but um, I think people, a lot of people don't know how to do portraits as well. And obviously I'm still learning as well, but 
maybe that'll give you some insight on how to pose people if you're watching this or whatever um so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy so i think the photos came out really well actually so pretty excited with them i hope you like them once again i haven't sent them yet but they'll be sent today so yeah thanks for watching later oh